Hey, welcome to video number four of the blogging module for Traffic Masters Academy. I am your host, John Chow, and in the last video, you'll recall that I show you how easy it is to install and set up WordPress. In this video, I'm going to get to the nitty gritty, and that is how do I get my blog onto Google and have Google send me all those nice, targeted, free traffic? Let's get started. One of the biggest questions I get is how does Google find my site? Or how do I let Google know that I have a new blog? Well, the easiest way is just to tell Google. We do that with Google Webmasters Tool. You go there by going to google.com slash webmasters. To log in, all you need is your Gmail account. If you already have a Gmail account, you already have a Webmasters account. Google Webmasters is where you go to tell Google that you have a new blog. Once you tell Google your blog is alive, Google will then send the Googlebot and within 24 hours, your new blog will be in the Google index. The internet is amazing. It's easy to share anything you create with the entire world, like Alice. She just opened an online store for her handmade jewelry. But now she's wondering, can people find her site on Google? With Google Webmaster Tools, Alice can make sure that Google finds her store and shows it for the correct search queries. Webmaster Tools displays the errors that Google finds when reading her site so Alice can check those errors and fix them to make all her pages appear in search results. Every time Alice creates a new product page, she can use Webmaster Tools to see if other people link to it and how often the page appears in Google search results. She can use that data to discover the most successful pages and products in her store, so she can focus on that and increase traffic to her site. Webmaster Tools also regularly checks her site for malware and other problems and will even send an email alert if it finds important issues. Now Alice can be sure that everything is okay with her site with Google Webmaster Tools. So Google Webmasters Tools is the easiest and most direct way to add your site to Google and to let Google know that you have a new blog and to send the Googlebot to index it. All you gotta do is log into Google Webmaster like I have done here. This is my Webmasters account. And as you can see, I have John Chow and www.johnchow.com registered with Google. To add a new blog, all you gotta do is just click Add New add a site. And boom, this shows up. So you just enter the URL for your new site, click continue, and then Google will ask you to confirm the ownership of the site. Generally, this is done by you uploading a file onto the onto the blog itself, and then Google will search for it. And once it finds that file, Google will then add that site to your webmaster's account. And within 24 hours, the Google bot will come and index it, and your site will be on Google. But before you submit your blog to Google, you should do a few things to your blog to get it ready to receive the Google bot. And the first thing you have to do is to install a Google sitemap. A Google sitemap tells the Google bot every single page on your blog and tells them which page is updated the most and which page you should spider and which page you should pay more attention to. Remember in the last video, I showed you how to install the Google XML sitemaps plugin? Well, that plugin automatically generates a Google sitemap for you. So whenever you write a new blog post, the plugin will automatically update your sitemap and it will also ping the Google bot to tell it to come back and index the new page. Pretty cool, huh? Next, we need to create a robots.txt file. The sitemap tells Googlebot all the pages on your blog. The robots.txt file tells the Googlebot what not to index. Now you might ask, why would I want Google to not index a certain page? The reason for this is duplicate content. See, when you write a blog post, it is actually duplicated quite a number of times in your blog. For example, when you write a blog post, it shows up in the archives. It also shows up in your trackback. 
and also it shows up in your categories page. You want to present Google with the original blog posts. You don't want to present Google with duplicate blog posts of the same thing. By using the robots.txt file, you can tell the bot to not index certain things like I tell the bot do not index my WP admin folder for obvious reason. I also tell it do not index my pages. Do not index the author. Do not index my category. Do not index my images, my backup, my banner folder. Do not index my trackback and my feeds. The whole object is to present Google with the cleanest version of my blog. By making the job of the Google bot a lot easier by using a sitemap and a robots.txt file, you make the job of the Google bot a lot easier. And that will allow you to rank higher in the Google search results page. In the past, adding a robots.txt file required you to log in to your website using an FTP or secure FTP server. Today, however, you can do it with a simple plugin. The WP robots.txt plugin will allow you to easily modify the robots.txt that's currently in your WordPress blog. Just install the plugin. Install. OK. Activate. And that's it. Now, to edit the robots file, all we have to do is go to Settings, Reading, and here it is right here. You can edit the file to your heart's content. Just allow whatever folder or whatever duplicate content you don't want to allow. Hit Save Changes, and you are done. Now that your blog has been indexed by Google, the next step is to control how Google displays your information on the search engine results page. Yes, it is possible to control how Google displays your stuff. And the best way to show that is with an example. I used to be a big fan of American Choppers. A few years back, Paul Jr. and Paul Sr. had a falling out, and Discovery Channel decided to turn the series into Senior vs. Junior. And in the season finale, Cadillac hire both of them to create a bike for Cadillac and then Discovery viewers would vote to see who made the best chopper. This was their creation. This here is uh, Paul Jr's bike and this here is Paul Sr's bike. Now this Cadillac bike build-off was the season's finale and Discovery Channel was plugging it heavily. I'm talking every second commercial on Discovery was about Junior was a senior Discovery Channel. Watch it on this day, on this time. And it was being promoted very, very heavily. So I knew if I wrote a blog post about it, I might be able to get a rank because most American Chopper fan blogs were not very search engine optimized. I knew if I wrote a blog post about it, I could probably rank those guys. In fact, my only competition would actually be discoverychannel.com. So on the season's finale of the show, I watched it to see who won, and then I went to see what the voting was, and then I wrote this blog post. American Chopper, Paul Sr. gets pwned by Paul Jr. Now normally, when Google indexes a blog post, the title shows up as the title, and then the first 140 characters of the first paragraph shows up as a description. This is why a lot of SEO experts will tell you, make sure your first paragraph is keyword heavy, stuff with keyword, that kind of stuff. However, that creates a paragraph that's not very people friendly. And given a choice between writing for people or writing for Google, you should always write for people. However, if you can control the Google search engine result page, you don't have to write for Google or people. You can do it for both. And when someone did a Google search for Cadillac bike build-off, this is what they got. I'm number one. In fact, I beat Discovery Channel. But notice this. My title says American Chopper, Paul Sr. gets pwned by Paul Jr. But yet the title being shown on Google says American Chopper, Sr. vs. Junior, Cadillac bike build-off recap. 
it doesn't say the title that's on my blog post. Also, notice it, notice the description. It wasn't even close. Junior so badly defeated Senior in the voting that OCC asked Discovery Channel to remove the poll from their website in the dot dot dot. Now, nowhere in my blog post is this description. This paragraph is not there. How did I do this? Let me show you. This is the blog post, American Chopper, Paul Sr. gets pwned by Paul Jr. Now normally, when Google indexes a blog post, it would take this as a title and put it in the search engine result page. And then it would take the first 180 characters of the first paragraph and just add that. That's how Google normally does it. But if you have the all-in-one SEO plugin, which I showed you how to install in the previous video, you can check back on the other videos if you need a refresher. When you have the all-in-one SEO plugin, you can control the title and the description independent of what is shown to the reader. In other words, I use this to show the readers and this is for the readers. For Google, all-in-one SEO creates additional fields called SEO details and additional style. And here, I can create a custom title, American Chopper Senior versus Junior Cadillac Bike Build-Off Recap. This is what Google Spider as the title. So instead of taking this title, it all in one SEO tells Google to use this for the title. And instead of taking the first 180 characters of my first paragraph, I tell Google to take this. And that's why I put my description. It wasn't even close. Junior so badly defeated Senior in the voting that OCC asked Discovery Channel to remove the poll from the website. In the, you know, in the, ac in the auction, Junior Bike had 10 times higher bid, etc. So by controlling what Google display, especially in the description area, I'm able to create a more compelling ad, so to speak. See, if you look at the description for all the other results for the uh, American Chopper search term, you know, they're all the first 180 characters or so, and sometimes, you know, the message isn't that compelling. But by creating a more compelling call to action, so to speak, like it wasn't even close, junior, so defeated senior, blah, blah, blah. Even if I was not ranked at the top spot, because my message and description was so much more compelling than the other results, even if I was, say, ranked number two or number three, I would probably get more click than a person above me. But in this case, it doesn't really matter because I got ranked number one. All in one SEO also allows you to control the keywords. All the keywords down here are specific to American choppers. I can create keywords for every individual blog post that I've done. And the results of all this 116,880 visitors to one blog post. You notice a surge of traffic here. That is when the show air. You also notice that a week, week or two later, uh, there's another surge of traffic. Well, that's because Discovery Channel showed the sh air the show again. And every time Discovery Channel sh showed the show again, there was a spike in traffic. It seems that, uh, I guess, American Chopper viewers like to watch the show with their iPads or their laptops or something. And I guess when they were showing the show, they did search for Cadillac bike build-off and they found me. Now, whenever I get a lot of traffic from a very specific source, in this case, Discovery Channel viewers, I like to make a blog post to welcome those people. And this is something that you should do. If you find you're getting a lot of traffic from, say, one particular website, like you got slash started, or you made the front page of Dig, or maybe you got on CNN or whatever, that site or that source is going to send you a lot of traffic. In this case, a lot of people were Googling about American Chopper. And since I was number one, I was getting a lot of traffic from that. So 
they go read the blog post and it, they also find a welcome blog post here that says welcome discovery channel and american chopper viewers i want to send a warm welcome to all the viewers of from discovery channel and american chopper like you i'm a big fan of the show and never miss an episode no doubt you came here because of this post i invite you to discover more about what my blog has to offer if you take my advice and do as i say you can own an american chopper someday that's my little way of welcoming them it's kind of cool and of course i also explain you know why is this shout out well it's because you know for regular readers uh this shout this shout out is because i'm being flooded by american chopper viewers thanks to the premiere of season three and discovery running the american chopper marathon leading up to the premiere this has resulted in a huge traffic spike and then I also explain, you know, that kind of stuff and everything else. And yeah, but that's the little trick that you should definitely do. Like I said, if you do get a lot of traffic from from one source, definitely make a welcome post and welcome them. The question you may have now is, how did I get to the front page for all those great search terms? This is where keyword research comes in. See, when I did my post for American Choppers, I did some research on what the Discovery Viewer will be searching for in order to find that particular information. Even though my blog post says Paul Jr. get pwned by Paul Sr., I know that the Discovery Viewer is not going to be searching for that. I mean, let's just face it, they're not. But they would be searching for American Chopper Cadillac Bike Build-Off Recap. Now, how did I discover this? Well, there are certain tools that you can use to help you do keyword research like a boss. And these are it. SEO Book Keyword Tool is made by SEObook.com. The tool has a free version, so you can actually check it out. Another one you can use is Word Tracker. also has a free version, and you can start with a free version, and if you like it, you can upgrade to the premium version. SEMrush at SEMrush.com Keyword Spy or two more premium services that you can use. And the last one I really like is called Hittail at Hittail.com. And what Hittail does is Hittail helps you discover long tail keywords. What's a long tail keyword? An example, Callaway Golf would be a keyword. Callaway Golf Putters or Callaway Golf Putters retail stores in Irvine, California would be long tail. What hit tail does is you enter the main keyword that you're looking for, say, make money online. And hit tail will give you all the long tail key phrases that people are searching for. And then you use that as your blog post title. What all these keyword tools does is they gauge competition. They can tell you how many times a certain phrase or word is searched for every single month. Your goal is to find keyword phrases that have good search volume, but very little competition. By doing it this way, your chances of being ranked by Google is extremely high. People are searching for that information, but there's virtually no competition. So if you were just to write a blog post about what they're searching for, you would rank on page one. And that is how I get most of my blog posts to page one. When I'm writing about something, I would write the article. And then for the title, I would do some keyword research on the title. For example, which gets searched for more? Make money online? Make money on the internet? Or make money from home? By using these keyword research tools, you can find out which gets searched the most. And most importantly, the competition level for each individual phrases and then you can go after those phrases that have good search volume but low competition i like to see around two to five thousand searches for any particular phrases and very little competition and chances are if i write a blog post about that i will be on page one so use one of these tools do some keyword research find keywords that have good search volume but low competition Write a blog post on those keywords, have Google send you the traffic, and then you're on your way to making money from it. 
I'll show you how to do that in the next video.